Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'll be showing you how to insert a cover page at the beginning of your report. I'll also be showing you how to edit, format and customise the cover page to personalise it to your report. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my cursor is at the very beginning of my document. I'm then going to go to the Insert tab, down to Cover Page, click on the drop down, and then as you can see, we have a wide variety of options to choose from. I'm going to select this one here. And as you can see, Word has automatically inserted that cover page to the beginning of the document. Up here, if you want to remove it, you can see there's a little icon at the top here. Just click on the drop down and you can see remove cover page. If I click on the various different elements, you can see how this cover page is made up. So here is simply an image. And if I right click, you can see we have the option here to change the picture. So I'll come back to that in a second. Secondly, we've got the title here. Now that has cleverly been imported from the title up here from the heading. And then you can adjust this as you see fit. So if we wanted to take that out, we could do so. And of course, if we wanted to make this text smaller, highlight it, go to the Home tab, and then you can use these increase or decrease font size tools, depending on how big or how small you wanted that text. Then you can go down to this element here, a guide, double click on this. And you'll see there is a subtitle option here. And again, if you want to get rid of that, just click on the three dots and press delete. Or you can just go in and insert your text. Next up here, we've got another box. These are all fields that have been inserted. So they're not text boxes, they're just fields. And so again, if you want to get rid of this, you can click on the three dots or you can select your own text, double click, and then just press paste. And then again, you can go in here and change the author name if you want to, or you can also change the color. So if I didn't want that to be orange, I could go to the Home tab, and I could go to the font color. I could change it to red, or any of these different colors. So let's just go back. And again, the same will happen with this title here. If you want to change this, make it bigger or small. If I make the text just a little bit bigger, Let's just move this author element down. And again, in here, I've already changed this, but again, this will be another opportunity to write some text that's applicable to your report. So let's just go and change the picture here. So if I click on the picture, then right click, go to change picture from file. And you can go ahead and change the size of this image but obviously, as you can see, it will change the look of your cover. In addition, you can add or subtract things from this document. So of course you can take all the writing out if you want to, and you can also insert things. So if you go to the Insert tab, go to Shapes, and obviously you can select from a number of different options. Let's just click on something relatively simple. Click and drag. Now by default, all shapes will have an internal fill color and a border. So if you want to change that, make sure you've selected your shape and you're on the shape format tab. Go to shape fill and this is where you can change the internal color of your shape. You can select from these colors, but if you don't see what you want, go to more fill colors and here you'll have your color wheel. Alternatively, you can use these guides here. It's completely up to you. If you then don't see a colour or you can't quite find a colour you like, you can also use the eyedropper tool, which is here, and choose from an image or something you've seen online. Just import it into Word, hover this circle over the top of it, and then just select a colour. And then once you've selected your colour, you'll see it come up in this square here and then click OK. And as you can see, we've got a color match with our image. And then you can play around with these shapes. You can put them wherever you like. If you're happy with that, you can always copy and paste that shape, bring it down to the bottom. 
and then you can just have a play with all those different items. Now of course you don't have to select this particular design, you can select from one of the other ones. If you want to add some additional text, go up to insert, go along to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Then all you need to do is draw your text box, insert your text, select your text to adjust it, I'm going to increase the size of it and then if I just move off that box you can see it's got a white background and a black border which we don't want so if I highlight that box again go to shape format go to shape fill select no fill go to the border click on the drop down and select no outline and then when I click off you can see it's all disappeared just reduce the size of that and then I can just pop that underneath there so a way that you can add shapes and text, how to format and edit the design and how to change the photo. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.